on this asinine hat <laughs> to not have my children see it in five years on the web. <laughs> what are they going to talk to their therapist about if you don't tell what we do and put on the web? They will have healthy childhood. We can't have that happen. Somewhere, somewhere, children respect Mike Borja. <laughs> Only because they haven't seen that. Let's make sure they do. I want you filming every single thing that happens this weekend. I want those phones out. I want them recording. And just remember, when they're recording, your voice is going to be the loudest thing you hear. So when you go back and show it to your mom, and she says, did you have a good time? And you say, yes, I did, mom. Let me show you. And you have it, and you're filming Jared and Jensen, and you say, oh, God, he's so hot. He's so hot. <laughs> Them, they'll be like, Echo. I will so make out with him. <laughs> That's what she's gonna hear. Keep that in mind, kids. Film it, shoot it, post it if you're in this room. However, if you go to the photo room where they take photos, and this is where the irony gets you, no photos. <laughs> I know the scientist photos. I know you're in there for the picture-taking opportunities. However, if you are not a paid professional, we have a man who does that. He's tall, he chews gum. He sounds like a fantastic person in the world. Chris talking. He does the photos. He will take the pictures. You do what he says. You keep that phone in your pocket and you smile for the camera. He will make sure you look great. That's the one place you can't take photos. Now, the other thing I must tell you is you're here and you're ready for a great weekend. And I'm going to warn you, don't do that. Don't rest on your laurels and enjoy this weekend when you can be worrying about how to pay for next year. <laughs> you feel like you're here for a fun weekend, you're not. This is three days of you contemplating how you're going to scrape together the funds to move closer to the stage next year. So don't, don't be lulled into a sense of complacency. You understand what I'm saying? These seats don't pay for themselves, and you know this. You put off a year of college to be here. And good choice. So you need to worry about and or figure out how to buy tickets for next year. They're selling them here. That's what you need to do. Now, I understand that sometimes things go awry. Things don't always work out. I mean, <laughs> I know it's shocking news to our Irish kazoo playing brethren. But it does happen. Every now and then something will go wrong. And, and I, I, I'll be honest, <clears throat> the, the band and I don't care. It's not in our contract to give a crap. But somebody here has to care. Somebody here has to at least care. Which means, by air quotes, pretend to care. And that person who pretends to give a crap about your experience here is Mandy. That woman right there. So new people, if you have any problems this weekend, any at all, if your boyfriend sends you a text, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, what is he trying to say? Ask me. If you don't feel like you had a special mom with Jared and he doesn't actually know that you're the one, and you're trying to tell him and bring him more up that you're actually the one, that he was married and you should have been the choice, and he didn't get the message, tell me. If you feel like you're not getting a crappy, half-assed, vampire diaries experience here, you're getting too much show, it's too great, too entertaining, tell Mandy. Anything that goes wrong in your life, tell Mandy, tell Mandy, tell Mandy. That is the most important rule you will learn today. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are your rules and or regulations. You are the people who get it, you are the people who commit to the experience, and that is why we love you, and that is why you're in for a hell of a day. That we are going to start right now by bringing on two gentlemen who are amazing people.